What's up everyone, don't click away. Today I will be unboxing and test driving Rewa's latest ESD phone repair heating pad. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out this episode. Today I have a pleasure of unboxing Rewa's latest ESD phone repair heating pad. For those of you out there who don't know, ESD stands for Electronic Static Discharge, which is a must have for everyone working in this industry. What makes this pad different than the others is that it has a surface area that is temperature controlled, which is great for opening tablets, phones, etc. This pad has a dimension of 17 inches by 11 inches, which is a great size to do your work on. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what makes this different than the others out there in the market. Yeah, beautiful. So here we can see what's included whenever you do purchase this. This is the main surface pad that I mentioned to you. Let's see right here, it's got a nice size. So the great thing about this, as I mentioned to you earlier, is that it has a controllable surface temperature area, which is this area here. You can control it between 80 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. So this has a dimensions of 17 by 11, which is a great size for doing any kind of tablet work or any kind of phone work. Currently right now, what we're doing is whenever we heat up our phones is we have these forward 361 plus machines at every workstation. So, you know, this is nice. It's great to have, especially if you're doing any kind of cutting or, or frame removals. But in the end, you know, this gets a little bit bulky. You know, whenever you have a workstation, you want to have it as minimalistic as possible, have less stuff on there so that we have a nice clean work area. So so I'm really looking forward to introducing these Refox to all our stations since it's going to give us the heating plate, which is right here, and we'll have a nice little clean workstation. And the cool thing about this also is it does have some areas here which are mag magnetized. So you can see there's a magnet strip running right across here, and we can actually put screws and everything in here to hold everything. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it works in our workstation. But one of the biggest factors is is I do really want to know how long this bad boy takes to heat up. So with that, I am going to do a temperature test to see what temperatures we get whenever we first plug it in and how long it takes to get to those temperatures. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in our main adapter here. And you can see here is our temperature control. Probably needs to be plugged in in order for it to give us a reading. So I'll plug it into the USB. So currently now we are at 22 degrees Celsius. So that's the starting point. On this pad here it's going to be about a 25 degree starting point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and start my timer because i really want to see how long it takes to get up to temperature i know that's one big kicker here is a lot of uh, you guys are out there buying equipment you know you want to know how long it takes to get up to temperature so that way you guys can begin doing your repairs so right now we are at seven seconds and it's gone up to 32 so it's moving along pretty good. We'll just wait and see how long it takes us to get to our nominal 80 degree temperature. So currently we're at 60 degrees Celsius. I feel this getting pretty warm and we're in about two and a half minutes. So overall heating time is, is running really, really well here. So I'm, I'm excited. So we're at three and a half minutes and we are at 68 and a half degrees. Running good. 80 degrees and we are at five minutes five short minutes to get up to temperature but it's nice and toasty you can see it bloating a little bit but man this is it's hot really really hot so that's good next let's go ahead and see how long it takes from this point to get up to 100 because that's another temperature that we do run here so we're at 80 boom 79 80 so let's bump this up to yeah let's just do 95 i don't think 100 is going to be a temperature that we're used too often so anytime you want to change the temperature hit the volume keys and then hit the power button that'll actually enable it to get up there so you can see we're at 95 set good so now i just dropped down to 77 so let's let it get back up i'll stop messing with it well it looks like it's stuck there it's stuck at 76 i'm just gonna hold it here and see if we can get it to 95 it's dropping why are you dropping oh i know you're dropping so be mindful guys that whenever you do have a device that's at normal room temperature and then you set it on this heating pad what's going to happen is because of the temperature of this device is a lot colder than what the heat pad is so it brings down the temperature so so i kind of muffed it i shouldn't have put the screen on it but hey we're at eight minutes 34 seconds so eight and a half minutes which isn't bad you know i'd say a good 10 12 minutes to heat up that's good 
can set this up, get it up to temperature and do what you gotta do or you know, work on this side here until it gets up to the 85, 90 degrees Celsius, whatever you want and begin working on it. All right, so it looks like we just hit the 95 threshold and it took us 12 minutes and 55, uh, we could say about 13 minutes to get up to temperature. So. so that pretty much wraps up my unboxing and test drive. I really hope you guys got some useful information out of this video. Be on the lookout for other videos going to be dropping out soon. We got a microscope up on top here. We got to do a review on and some other cool stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.